Hey guys, so I actually did come up with a decision and I am going to California um, in two weeks. I should be leaving on uh, September 21st. I'm going to be making a pit stop in Phoenix, Arizona um, to visit some family that actually lives there. A family I haven't seen in over two years. Um, and then I'm going to be going to Vegas for a few days to hang out with my friend. And then I'm going to make the eight hour trip to San Francisco afterwards. Um, it's very exciting and very scary at the very, at the same time. Um, last night, you know, after I had made my decision, I, I couldn't sleep. I was so sick to my stomach and worrying about everything, worrying about making a bad decision, worrying about, um, you know, failing basically, but um, I was able to apply to 21 jobs in the, in San Francisco area. So basically the Bay area and then kind of around like Oakland and stuff. And to me, it's, it's one of those things where, where I currently live, there's no way in hell I could have been able to apply to 21 jobs. Um, and, and I'm talking about 21 jobs that are well within work I've already done. Um, you know, so my qualifications are there. Every single one of them, I met their minimum requirements and I exceeded a lot of them. Um, so I'm really hoping for the best, you know, at least that one of the companies out there will see value in me and, you know, be able to work out a job, you know, um, you know, my goal ultimately is to live there full time, for as long as I have a job there. Um, you know, if things work out, I don't foresee myself ever coming back to, to, uh, Jersey. So yeah, um, I'm very scared, nervous, and I know it's all normal. I know that these things are to be expected, especially when you're doing something completely new, completely different. And, you know, I, I think it's okay to be scared in a way, but I definitely think, I definitely think it's going to be the right choice. Um, now, some have told me, you know, driving, when driving out there, you know, to, you know, make it a three-day thing. I'm not doing that. <laughs> um, I'm basically going to drive straight to uh, Phoenix. Um, my father's a trucker, so it's kind of in my blood to be able to drive for long periods. Uh, my mother was able to drive all the way from Jersey down to Florida without stopping anywhere. I've been in the car so many times in one stop, um, you know, so I think I can do it. <laughs> Worst case scenario, I'll just, you know, sleep in my car at a truck stop or something. I don't, I don't foresee it being a problem. Um, but I'm not in a position to just start renting, you know, hotel rooms and motel rooms. I, I don't want to add any ex further expense than I'm already uh, doing to live out there. So I'm going to document it all. I'm going to um, basically tweet every time I fill up my car. So you'll, I'll turn on the location settings so you guys can kind of see on a map um, where, where in the world I am. I mean, where, where in the United States I am. Um, I'm estimating about seven fill ups on the car. Uh, probably be maybe eight or nine. I don't know. I'm, I'm guessing around seven. I did a rough math and, you know, added an extra tank or two for compensation as well. Um, but a few apartments I looked at in, uh, in San Francisco, it's actually in like the, basically in the heart of San Francisco. So it's the Tenderloin district, I believe it's called. It's right near the mission district. Um, looking around there, I've seen a great number of rooms for rent, which is pretty much what I'm going to do, you know, firsthand because it's the cheapest route I can do. Um, but then of course, you know, when I get a full-time job, it's a no brainer. I'll get my own apartment where I'll be the only one that lives there. Um, so that, that's kind of the game plan. I, I think it's extremely exciting because I, you know, I've, I've never lived out there. I've never lived on the West coast. You know, I've only, been there twice and that's like a week at a time in Vegas and that's pretty much it but you know to live there it's kind of cool I feel like 
I'm becoming an adult. You know, I'm 25 and, you know, I've, I've lived with people, you know, I've lived with my ex, I've lived with family, you know, so being able to go off on your own and start, basically start your own life. I think I was a little late to the game, you know, but I, I had a lot of growing up to do prior to going out there. So I'm going to document a lot, you know, I'm going to film a lot. I'm going to basically, you know, it's a huge adventure. It really is. And I really appreciate all the comments that you guys have put on my videos late as of late. You know, you guys are pretty cool and I really appreciate it all. Um, as for Ultimate Gamer Podcast and, and most of my gaming related videos, um, they're going to have to kind of go in the back burner for a little bit while I try to figure things out um you know i mean ultimate gamer podcast requires you know recording equipment it requires this thing you know which is a, a blue microphone it's a high quality microphone um i'm not bringing this with me i'm not bringing pretty much any of my stuff with me my rig my gaming consoles you know all of my things are pretty much staying in new jersey um i'm bringing only the bare necessities you know, my laptop, my tablet, you know, a few repair tools, um, and my clothes. That's pretty much it. Um, the rooms for rent that I'm looking at are uh, furnished, so I'll have a bed. Um, you know, they're, I'm making sure that the people that I end up staying with are trans-friendly. Um, you know, I don't foresee it being a big issue out there. Um, I already am in the talks with two different um, apartments, like the, the people that are looking to rent the room out to people. And they are both well aware that I'm a transgendered female woman. <laughs> um, and that I'm currently in transition. So they don't have a problem with it. So we'll see how things work out. But, you know, it's just, it's surreal. It's one of those things where, yeah, I haven't even left yet. I'm not even leaving for another, what? 13, 12 days or so, but like when I actually hit the road to drive out there, which is the longest drive I've ever done, um, it's, it's going to be surreal. It's going to be like, holy shit, I'm actually doing this. And you start to get that feeling that you want to back out of it already. And I haven't even like started packing. I'm going to be starting today. Um, but I've already like, I'm like, no, I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. But I think it's just natural nerves. Um, you know, luckily my friend was on the phone with me the whole night pretty much. Um, and then I fell asleep on the phone. So sorry about that. Um, yeah. So uh, all I can say is wish me luck, guys. I, it's, it's crazy. I wish I was in a better position. You know, I wish I had guarantees. I wish, you know, um, when I arrive there, I'll have a job already. You know, I, I mean, two weeks is enough time to potentially get a phone interview or two and then let them know, yeah, I'm actually moving out to that area. You know, um, I really look forward to working for these companies. A lot of these companies are, are household names. Um, I'm not going to say which companies I applied to because um, I don't want to jeopardize any chance that I may have working for them. But um, they are household names. They're businesses that I had no clue that were actually out there. And it amazed me at just at the sheer number of available positions out there. Um, it's It just seems like there's just a lot of growth for IT. And, you know, I didn't look in any other type of job market, but, you know, just working as a person in my field, um, it seems like a, a good bet. Uh, I think it's a safer bet than it is continuing to go the route that I'm going. Um, finding work out here has been hell. I've, as I stated, I've only been on three job interviews and you know, they were so far and few between. It wasn't like, oh, yeah, you know, I got three interviews in, in a week. No, it's three interviews in three months. So that kind of sucks in a way. But, yeah, so I'm definitely, you know, follow my Twitter. I, I'm, I'm going to put it in the comments below. 
Um, I think I only have 125 followers, but um, definitely check out my Twitter because um, there's going to be a lot of stuff I'm going to post there. I'm not going to have the time to really post a lot of videos. Um, the videos will be posted after I've settled in. Now, luckily, a lot of the places that I looked at for internet, there was one in, in particular that was offering 90 down on the speeds. That's insane. That's like right around the speeds I was getting when I lived with my ex. Like I was getting 85 down, 85 up, but you know, 90 down. That's that's pretty good. So, and a lot of the places I looked at, they're all including Wi-Fi. So I, there's no doubt in my mind I'll have internet, so I'll be able to upload these videos and stuff. You know, it all comes down to what what are the speeds. There was one that said DSL. I'm like, uh, no, I ain't doing DSL. But um, yeah, and if, you, if you, any of you are actually out there in the San Francisco area and you have a room available for rent or you know a guy who or a girl or whatever that has a room for rent, you know, definitely shoot me a personal message here on YouTube. I'll, I'll definitely keep an eye out for them. Um, you know, it's great if there are people out there that know the area and know, you know, trustworthy people to, um, you know, do a room split with uh, or apartment split with. And um, just know that you'll have an IT person with you. You'll have someone that can fix laptops, that can fix servers, that can fix desktops, Macs. Uh, I can fix iPhones. Heck, I fixed one the other day, you know, for my, my father. The battery went bad, and I replaced the battery in an iPhone 5 for him. So, you know, you get more than, you know, than you originally bargained for, which is good. You know, you get the rent. You get, you know, I'm reliable where I pay on time. Um but you also get a little extra, you know? You get a person that is funny, that can is easygoing, is very easy to get along with. Um, a person, again, that fixes a lot of shit. So, yeah. Take care, guys. Look out for future videos. And again, thank you all for the support. Thank you all for the nice comments. I really do appreciate them. Thank you.